As restrictions ease and pubs and clubs open in a limited state around parts of Australia, the question remains, what will the future of eating out look like after COVID-19? It just doesn't validate. The numbers aren't there. We're not going to have the pub that we used to have for a long time. State premiers and the government are reviewing proposals submitted by the hospitality industry that include the removal of salt and pepper shakers from tables and no shared restaurant dining like buffets. Restaurant and Catering Australia has released its recommendations after a review by epidemiologists in an effort to get restaurants running again. If the National Cabinet accepts the RCA's guidelines in full, a raft of measures will change how we eat out in the future, with many already in place in other parts of the world. Expect a roomier reservation, with social distancing of 1.5 metres enforced between all tables and a reduction in overall restaurant capacity. Once a mainstay, BYO should not be accepted in restaurants and cafes, so whether it's wine over dinner or you keep cup for coffee, bring your own may no longer be an option. Plexiglass, which you've already been seeing around supermarkets, may be installed at counters and tills, with a push to limit physical interaction between staff and customers. Many restaurants across Asia have installed barriers between all tables to seal customers off and prevent virus spread. Speaking of avoiding the spread, drink stations, salad bars and buffets, sorry Sizzler, are all but gone. Communal dining experiences are expected to take a deep cultural hit for the time being as hygiene is thrust into focus. Patrons could even be made to download the COVID Safe app on their phone or undergo temperature checks. Both measures already being instituted in post-lockdown reopenings across Asia. In China, people have a personal QR code that must be scanned before they are allowed to enter an establishment as part of a colour-based health code system. But many businesses may not receive a rush of customers, even with new safety measures now on the menu. Stage one of our government's restrictions still limits foot traffic. No matter what the venue is, no matter how large the venue is, uh, up to 10 people to dine and that's it. We know that that will mean many cafes and restaurants won't be able to open, but many that are doing takeaway may well want to put up uh, enough distant tables to start just gently serving 10 people at a time. By the end of stage three, venues will be allowed to seat up to 100 people if they're able to safely maintain social distancing of 1.5 metres between tables.